David, David likes to take what I do and sell it. And don't give me any profits off of it. You guys having a good day? What's today? Today is the uh, 11th. I'll be in Alabama on Friday. You ready for that net? And then Miami next week. If you're in Miami or Alabama, reach out to me. Let me know. And then Aruba. I don't know if I was supposed to share that, but back to Aruba. Um, so what, what needs to, this is, I had a talk with, um, with, uh, someone asked me a question. I forget who it was in Desi's group. And, um, and what I told them was this, I said, you, when you start moving towards a goal, you, you don't start, you, you, you don't go from broke to tomorrow you just you just got you know nine figures in your banking account um it, it's called law of gestation it takes time uh there's a time period for for one the universe to understand what you're what you're trying to do and what you're going after and for one if you can take it too remember i say it all the time that Lessons are repeated until learned. Meaning you got a lot of tests to take before you accept or before. See, the test is to see if your subconscious mind accepted the idea yet. Does that make sense? When you keep telling yourself the affirmation, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy. I got, I, I got seven figures. I got eight figures. When you keep telling yourself that the universe puts you through test, I call it, I think it's God, you know, but some of you guys got to be careful because I don't know what your belief says. God, right. He puts you through test to see if you've accepted that idea. I just did something today with somebody and was talking about the business. And I said, hey, you know, get they want to work with me. And I said, hey, I'll work with you. Um, uh, the thousand, you got to do the highest pack. They said, why do I have to do the highest pack? I said, well, because you said your goal was seven figures. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Boom, that's a test. It's the test to see if you've accepted the idea that you're the millionaire that you keep telling yourself. Otherwise, remember, you don't get what you want in life, you get what you are in life. All that stuff is a test. So whenever you all keep calling it out, this is what I tell you all the time, God can't give you prosperity with a poverty mindset. Just can't give it to you. Because God works through to and through us, as Bob always says. And, and I never forget when he used to say that all the time, like, what are you talking about? He works to and through. To meaning you got the idea. That's what I want to do. Now he has to get it through you. To is the consciousness. Through is the subconsciousness. Okay. He works to and through thine kingdom come, thine will be done. Meaning thy kingdom come, boom, the kingdom's there. This is the kingdom. This thing, the government. This is your government. Thine kingdom come, thine will. The word will again, will means focus. You got to focus. It's an intellectual faculty, which I keep forgetting to, to train you guys on. It's the intellectual faculty. It's one of the intellects. Thine will be, will be, meaning you keep focusing on something, that's when you'll become something. See, my dad's a preacher. He thought I was going to be a preacher. I said, no, nah, this is my gospel right here. Gospel just means good news. 
thine kingdom kingdom is this you determine what type of kingdom you 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 will you will achieve or you will receive or you will accept whatever you want to say you determine the kingdom if you're broke that's your kingdom hold on i'm seeing you guys welcoming a lot of people um do i have permission to be frank with your people this is a team call so if, if this is a family call matter of fact so if you're brand new just just be like that. You, you know, when you get that new girlfriend, new boyfriend, you feel awkward with the family. Just don't say anything and just sit up, just sit at the kitchen table. Don't say anything. <laughs> Thine kingdom. We determine the kingdom. Thine will. We determine what we focus on. And what we focus on, we be. What you tune into, you turn into. What's entertaining you now is training you now. Whoever has your ear has your life. Whoever has your eyes has your vision. Thine kingdom come, thine will, will focus. Our focus is more, our focus is, we, our focus is just amazing what it can do. You can focus on someone for a long period of time and they'll give you a call while you're thinking of them. I know that's happened to everybody because we're all human and we're all, it's happened to all of you on the line. Man, I was just thinking about you. Really, I was just thinking about you. They can be all the way in China. I got friends in Japan. I got friends. I got a friend that lives in China. I got friends. Jake, Jake is all the way in, in, in the UK. And there's times I'm thinking about Jake and then Jake gives me a call. What's going on, man? I'm like, I was just thinking about you, dude. Thine kingdom come that thine will be, because whatever you focus on, you become, thine will be done. What we, what we will do in February, because if you guys, if you guys are working alongside with me, buckle up. If you're not, take this and use it. Where's uh, Malene at? Malene, you see what I just did? Take this and use it for your business, whatever you're in. Okay. You get four quarters. And uh, I, I think I got it from Bob or Linda, one of the two, maybe my other mentors, I don't know. Four quarters, I think it was Brad, matter of fact. Four quarters. And always, because quantum leaps um, are tiring. Quantum leaps are draining. And then you got all these holidays and you got birthdays and then you got, so you need to give yourself some time to make a quantum leap, 30, 60, 90 days, whatever it is. I was reading Bob's book, uh, one of his new books that he just came out with, uh, uh, Change Your Paradigm or something like that. Um, and, and he was talking about how it doesn't take a long time for you to shift and change the, uh, change your, uh, the, the course of your life. And I'm thinking about my life. I'm like, man, it didn't take that long at all. What takes long is you making the decision. I was talking to Tier and Jason and Emilio, and I asked them, I said, when are you guys going to be six or seven figures? And here it is. There, I don't know, you know, whatever it is. And I said, man, you know what's crazy? I'm giving you guys information. I'm sorry, not Jason. Jason's already, you know, but but I'm, I'm giving some, I've said, you know, the crazy thing is I'm giving some of these guys this information that's changed the course of my life in just a matter of a few months and just really just took off with it. And there, there's some people that's just on the line, you know, they're just, And I'm thinking, if they just applied what I just what I just teach, what I just tell them, everything will be different. Desi asked me a good question. If you were to go back and change what you've done in business, 
when it comes to your, your in the beginning stage, what would you change? Nothing. Because if I changed something, I wouldn't be me. Nothing. I wouldn't change nothing. You know, the mentors I had, it, it, I, it was like a magic wand or something. Dream come true to me. Nothing. The information I got, the connections I was around, what I want you all to do is today, I want you to, yeah, take notes, but I want you to more listen. Okay. I woke up this morning, couldn't even sleep last night, woke back up. I, I think I went, went to sleep around maybe 11 or something, 10, 30. Uh, woke back up around like, you know, two o'clock. And, and sometimes God does that to me. And I'm and then I'm trying to go back to sleep, get my last hour and a half in. It's almost four o'clock. Couldn't even go back to sleep, just ter- tossing and turning. Then I had to get up because Bob says, when you get up, you it, when you wake up, you get up. So I got up and I said, let me just go to the gym, went to the gym. Eyes is red, came back, drained. I just did a call for, I did multiple calls today, did a call for Desi's group. And then uh, here it is, people in the chats are saying, is he okay? Is he doing well? Then boom, I just kick, just kick right back into gear. Because the vision sometimes keeps you up. The vision sometimes shakes you at nighttime and says, hey, spend some time with me. Hey, hey, come, come, come here so we can talk. Can you think? Can you use your imagination and think about me just a little bit more before you go to sleep? If you all don't have that with your goals right now, in 2022, it's not a desire yet. You got to turn it into a desire and you got to be thinking about it all day long. I told somebody in Jason's group and he said, How long do you do affirmations? I said, every day, all day, man, I'm yelling it in my car. I'm telling myself, man, what all day I'm telling myself affirmations. I told you thine kingdom come, thou will be, will be. My focus is so disciplined. I'm thinking about it all day long. I don't put my goals on vacation and let my paradigm take over my life. No, I'll let my paradigm on vacation because I don't want it. I don't want the paradigm to come back. I want to live my goals because goals mean G A. I mean G J G O A L. Go out and live. I'm living the goal. I'm not faking it till I make it. I'm faithing it till I make it. That's why some of you don't achieve your goals. I said, Frank, we're going to talk about today because somebody's life is going to be changed. That's why some of you don't achieve your goals because you put your goal on vacation and it sounds cute to say it. You get around your mentor and you talk about it, but you only talk about it around certain people. Then you get back to your family and then here it is. You go right back to your paradigm And the paradigm got that, here it is. I just got back from Aruba with Angie and them. They had a welcome sign, welcome Darren to Aruba. And your paradigm, come when you come back and you get around your friends and family, it says, welcome back. We missed you. (laughs) Can't do that. You should already have people saying, who do you think you are? You should already have people saying, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Never forget when Bob, when I was in, and I was in Florida and, and uh, we were in Sarasota and, and uh, I, I wanted to spend every year, I want to spend time with my mentor. This is a good thing what you all want to do probably. Every year I want to spend time with my mentors. 
New Year's. I want to bring in the new year with, with a stronger vision. And here it is. I, I, I went out there and, I, and, and they said, hey, come to the family, uh, you know, beach house, whatever it is. And we went out there and, um, you know, and Bob said, hey, your environment's controlling your results. You need to uh, come out to Toronto and just shake up your paradigm a little bit. And I said, all right, when? Six months next year? He said, no, uh, this month. I said, what about my dog and cat? And I'm, I'm blaming all the stuff. What about the dogs? And, and what about Kaylee? And what about, you know, my mom and dad? He said, no, that's your paradigm kicking in, son. You make the decision to do it. You leave all your stuff. You still pay the, pay the, pay your little rent that you're, that you're in right now. Come, come out here. It doesn't matter. When you make the decision, everything lines up. Go to my mom and dad. Hey, I'm going to go to Toronto just for just for six months because I'm not Canadian. And that's all. That's the longest I can stay out there. Go out there in six months. What you have to go. Out, why do you have, listen? They're telling you stuff that your paradigm is telling you. Why do you have to do that? You don't have to do all that. And the more you get around them, the more you focus on it, thine kingdom come, thine will. The more you keep using that intellectual will faculty, you start to become it. And you say, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Why do I need to go out there? No, I said, mom, I'm going out there. Decision was already made. I just told you what I'm doing. It's already made. Your decision, when, if you're going to ask anybody for advice for your goals, make sure your decision is already made before you ask them. When you come into this year, hopefully you guys have already set some goals and some, some so with our, with our group, we got some big, I know we got the, the Rocket Award and, and we're moving so fast and people are texting me and, and Angie's about to get interviewed which I don't want to miss but it's recorded so I'll check it out and hear all this stuff and and every month we just been cranking out six figures and seven figure ranks and all the good stuff and and disclaimer by the way we're not saying you're going to do it I'm just saying we that's what's what we do and here it is see David that's why I, that's why I don't like to record but here it is all this stuff all just all this stuff right and I'm thinking we haven't did anything yet. Why? Because there's people on the line right now that's, that's struggling. How selfish would it be if you see two people eating very well and you got the whole table, eight to 10 to 15 to 20 different people not eating and they're watching us eat. They're getting the same information, but they haven't accepted the information yet. They bought into the doubt that they were told years and years and years and years, and that became their title and their name. I can't afford it. I can't afford it. I can't afford it ends up being I'm broke. I can't afford it. Then they started believing the lie that they told themselves, believe, 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 take out the B, be the lie that they told themselves. You should all get the book hung by the tongue. Because whatever you speak about, you bring about because words have power. Even when you don't have the income, you just say, hey, not right now, but soon it's coming. Not right now, but it's coming. I used to look at my banking account whenever I used to see a thousand dollars in it or a hundred dollars. I would say, "Man, dude, you, you broke. You broke. I ain't broke." I would tell my banking account it was broke, and I would say, "I ain't broke though." <laughs> man, you broke, man. Need some help? Because you got to participate in your own rescue. 
You got to participate in it. And I'm going to tell you right now, it don't take a year. It don't take, it takes however long it takes based on when you can believe in it, but you got to make the decision. It don't take that long. So when we get into these slides, what you all want to do is start thinking about what have I done in the 11 days of 20, now we're on, now we're in week two now, right? What have we done in 11 days of 2022? Does it look like 2021? You don't have to put in the chat. Don't, don't be cute. No, not my year. You don't have to be cute. Does it look like it? Is 2021 and 2022 twins? This is what you want to do. You want to make calling out a goal. I was talking to Jason about this and it was good. You want to make calling out a goal and you not hitting it. I mean, I feel disgusted. You know why? I respect myself. My self-image won't allow me not to hit something. Was talking to Jason when, when we first made this move seven months ago when I, and I completely just said, hey, I'm starting completely over. And I said, that's what, that's what, what, that's what successful people do. They're not scared to start over. Hey, I'm going to start all the way over, man. Let's, let's have a little bit more fun. Let's build a bigger mountain. And, I, and Jason said, I'm going where you go. I said, why are you going where I go? He said, because you're crazy. I said, what are you talking about? He said, man, you don't accept no or you don't accept. You, you just accept whatever. You just get you get to work. Man, you're crazy. You're nuts. Everything you called out to us, we didn't believe you. He said, now I'm a believer. Can you be crazy enough for you to hit your goals this year? And say, man, you can look back and say, man, I actually really did it. Is there something, put in the chat really quick, that, that really shocked you and, you and you look back and you think, man, I actually did it, man. I actually did it. Just put in the chat really quick. I, 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 maybe it's losing weight or maybe it's, maybe it's you, 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 you moved out, out from one state to the next state. You left this state and went to another country or whatever it is. And, and maybe you went from zero to 100,000 your first year of you getting to work on it. Just, just put in the chat. If, if, if that, I'm talking to you really quick. Just say, hey, just put yes. That's me, man. I actually did it. Man, I actually did it. I, I actually told myself what I was going to do, and it really came to fruition. I actually did it. When you get a taste of that, you want to keep tasting it. For everyone that said yes and et cetera, and yes, I did it. Yeah, I did it. When you get a taste of it one time, it becomes an addiction. It becomes, I, I, I have to do this because I hit all this up. I got to do this. What is this, Darren? Some of you new people. What is he talking about? Talking about you. Talking about you. Went to the gym today and man, what, what's, what, tell me what's new. And you guys probably got this before too. Hey man, tell me what's new. Oh, nothing, nothing's new. Same thing, you know, same old, same old. I don't want the same old, same old. Man, what's new? Nothing. You know, people say, hey, Darren, what's new? I say, everything's new. All the time, everything's new. I'm new. Everything is new. 
we almost got into a personal development argument. I said, listen, nothing's new. Oh, man, nah, man, you know, same old, same old. Who wants to be the same old, same old? <laughs> Let me get into it. Hopefully I get to all these slides. Um, when you find something that you really, really want, I was talking to somebody that that's in particularly that's on my team. And she called me and she said, hey, why am I stuck? Immediately, I answered her question. I said, because you, you haven't found what you really want. She said, no, I really want a six-figure rank. I said, listen, I want you to visualize you at seven figures. I said, forget 2,000 a week. Think about 20,000 a week. Her eyes lit up. I said, well, if you were the first seven-figure income earner and you helped a lot of six-figure earners. I think, I think becoming the first millionaire in your family, family is like one of the best goals you can set for yourself. Not about the money. I'm not talking about money. See, listen, any book that you get when it comes to talk about money, they, they always talk about consciousness. Everything is consciousness. Based on what you're earning right now is based on what you believe you deserve right now. And whatever you believe you deserve right now, that is your self-image of you, the way that you look at yourself. Self-image. I'm huge on self-image change. If I change your perception, I change your whole life. Self-image starts with perception. It starts with the way that you look at yourself. Based on what goals you set for yourself is based on your perception of yourself. That's what it is. Never forget when Bob said, Darren, what, what was your check? And I think it was like maybe, maybe 2,500 a week that week. Why would you, why would you, you work in seven days for that? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm thinking I'm winning. You know why I thought I was winning? Because none of my environment was doing it. I was the biggest one in the room and the room was too small. The room was way too small and I'm over here bragging about, man, yeah, 2,500, man. Why would you work seven days for that? Why would you, why would you work 20, what, seven days? He said, you're tolerating it. Your self-image can't see yourself doing more than where you are. There's a lid. You can speak about it all day long, but God can't get money through you. He can't get goals through you because you got a lid on it. Every time he's pouring the blessing in, your lid is on your, it's in, it, you got to take that lid off. You got to go from A type to B type, all the way down to C type. You got to go from what you know you can do. What you know you could do is not an exciting goal. The B type, what you think you can do, B type is, analytical goal and oh my god i do not like working with b-type people it slows me down told the group i told some of the people hey we're gonna do five million in one month how darren how i'm thinking 
Go, my dog is downstairs. Go howl with him. I don't howl. I, 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 I name what I'm going to do. This is where this is where God is activated in the C type go. This is your God being activated. What do you really want? She said, yeah, I really seven fifty twenty thousand 20,000 a week. I said, how many people, I said, let's, let's stay right here really quick. This is you stretching your mindset. Look, when you're, when you're at 20, not say if, when, if, when you got to say when, when you're at 20,000 a week, what would you do with it? Oh, I never thought of it. You know why you never thought of it? Because your self-image never allowed you to even think that. I said, let's stay on the phone and quit. Tell me some stuff what you would do. She said, oh, well, I would, I would help my mom and dad out with more bills. I would maybe give some more money to my church. I will start probably paying for some charities. See, here it is. All this stuff. See, when you're thinking small, you're thinking about yourself. When you think big, you have to think about everyone else. You have to. There's only so much you can have for you. When you think big, you have to think for everybody else. You have to just say, oh, man, oh, man I would help this person and that person. And absolutely, man, I would, I would just, I would just be given, given, given. That's what the world needs, folks. It needs more gold givers and not more go-getters. Givers. The reason why you're not wealthy is probably because you have a get mentality. Man, I got to get this to pay a bill. I have to get this to do wrong mentality. Wrong energy you want to use. I don't care if you're I don't care if you're 15 or 500 on this line. I want you to set the goal today to do something ridiculously crazy this year. Listen folks, I'm not a motivational speaker so I don't have a motivational book. I'm not, I don't know, I don't even know how to, I don't know, I may come off as motivation, but I am not, I am not that. I'm giving you direction. You'd be amazing, you'd be amazed of just you changing your thought process will do to change your life. Changes everything. You got to change it. Financial success, we're going to get through this, watch, guys. Financial success has a lot to do with being at the right place at the right time. If you're looking for uh, an, an opportunity, and I would tell you not to look for opportunities, look for leadership. Look for leadership. The leadership shows you the opportunity. Now, some of you guys on the line already got that. Talk to the new people now. Darren, I, I, okay, I, we, we know finances and everything. Don't listen to yourself. Don't even look for an opportunity because most people don't even know what opportunity is. I'll never forget when Bob said, most people don't say no to opportunities because they don't want one. Most people say no to opportunities because they're not aware of what one looks like. They're not aware of what one looks like. People don't look for opportunities. People look for security. That's what we're programmed to look for, security. Security, that's what we're looking for. Secure, 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 secure. That's why you don't want to join a business and you don't get a salary for it. I'm not working my work for myself. No salary. Nope, whatever you do is on you. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the biggest bet that you can ever uh, have in your life is betting on you. That is the best bet you can ever bet. Is betting on you. Otherwise, you'll bet on somebody else that bet it on themselves. 
putting your security in that you're putting your security in their legacy. There's nothing wrong with you doing that. You may start off there, but I don't think you should end there. No, you find leadership. You find that leader and say, hey, can I follow you for a little bit? And then say, hey, I want to follow you until I, until I see what you've done and then lead just like you, if not better. And the leader will tell you if it's a good timing. Because everyone wants freedom. You got to understand that. I was talking, I was uh, listening to an audio, uh, I think yesterday. I wanted to do the master class, but couldn't do the master class. Let me get back into this. And um, I would always hear, you'd be amazed of how much free time you have when you never have to think about money. I talked to my mom and dad when I was in Miami a few weeks ago, I think last week or something like last week or two weeks ago. And I told my dad he's retiring next year. And I said, this is why I don't want you to do is focus on money. When you focus on money, you're stressed. And you guys know the statistics when people retire. I'm never retired. Why would you want to retire? Retire means set back from life. No, I want to live. I want to always be growing. Why would you want to retire something you love? I want to keep, I want to keep growing. I want to keep setting goals. I told the group this few minutes ago, I said, goals make you stay alive. Goals make you, that make you always positive and always upbeat. Somebody, you talk to somebody that has a goal, they're always smiling in your face. They're always, they're, they're, they're just always positive. They're rarely ever sick. They're, they don't have time to think about sickness. They don't have time to think about negativity. They're always just focused and fired up. And they're like, how are you staying fired up? Because they have a goal. Darren, are you like this in the morning? Absolutely. Come see me at 4 a.m. I'm probably a little bit more crazier. I talk to my Australian group in the mornings and, and I do calls with them sometimes. Sometimes I got to get up at 3 a.m. And, 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 and here it is. I don't care who's in the house. I'm over here yelling, hey, welcome. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Hey, listen, listen up. And they're like, this guy is nuts. It's 3 a.m. Told my dad, I said, listen, let's, let's get money out the way. Told my mom and dad, let's get, we're going to get money out the way before you retire. Because I want you to live a long lifestyle. I don't want you to focus on money. I want you to focus on the main thing. I'm going to tell you right now, money's the last thing. It's not the main thing. Money's the last thing. I want you to focus on the main thing. I want you to focus on getting, get, building up your relationship with God. I want you to focus on you getting your know yourself. I want you to focus on you building and creating something for yourself because you work for somebody else for over 50, 60 some years. I need you now to build your own legacy now. And I, I need you to just focus on, let me focus. I, I'll take care of the money, the situation for you. It's what I believe every child should do for the for the for whoever raised them. It's just my belief. You can have your own. If they took care of us, why not take care of them? But you got to take care of you first. Whenever I travel, it says, put the mask on your mouth first before you put it on your partners. Why? Because it doesn't want you to kill yourself trying to help somebody else. Empty plates can't feed hungry people. I was talking to somebody and, they, and, and they're trying to join this business and here it is. And they said, man, I, I'm really struggling. Didn't even have a thousand dollars to get started or 250, really struggling. I said, what do you do? Oh, well, I'm a success coach. You're a success what? Success coach. I say you're a stress coach or success coach. Which one? 
Empty plates can't feed hungry people. How are you going to teach success? And you never had it before. You got to lead you first before you can lead other people. You get a win and teach them how to get a win. So I always tell myself, I'll never teach something that I'm not doing. That's why I don't practice what I preach. I preach what I've practiced. You don't just shift your mindset. You have to shift your actions. The quickest way to change your behavior patterns and the quickest way to change your mindset is by you shifting your actions. Motion follows emotion. I called my mentor and I said, what do you do when you're stuck? He said, I keep building the business. I said, no, but what happens when you're stuck? I keep building the business. I keep selling. I keep building. I keep building it. My body is an instrument of the mind. I want my body to follow my act. Now, I don't need my, 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 listen, all of you guys do, do this really quick. I want you to just, just frown at me really quick. Just frown. Just frown. All right. Yeah, just frown for 30 seconds. Just come on. Some of you guys' frowns are crazy. Just, just frown. Frown. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? You, you know, you putting a lot of weight on your face, right? Just now do something really quick. Just smile. Just smile. That, that smile just changed your emotion. You don't even know what the hell you're smiling about. You know, it's crazy when I go to the gym and, I, and I'm talking to some people anywhere I go. Hey, how's it going? I show my team. Hey, how's it going? I, it forces other people to show theirs. You ever caught that before? Hey, what's going on? Hey, and they're like, hey, what's up? And you just made their day. Because their, emo their emotions changed their emotions. Same thing in business. Hey, your mindset's probably broke, but make your actions rich. Mindset is probably broke, but make your actions rich. I guarantee you, your actions will shift and watch things start to happen for you. When I was, um, you know, consulting and all that stuff and, and um, I would talk a big game. I mean, just big. I was talking like this when I had when I had nothing in the banking account. I was more confident talking like this when I had nothing. I was teaching this information. I'm doing, boom, telling the, and Bob said, "Keep teaching it, keep teaching." It. I'm teaching it, teaching it, and before I know it, I started believing it. Started believing. I was like, "Oh my God." I would talk about it and feel wealthy and look at my banking account and I'm like, oh gosh. And then I started telling the banking account, you're broke, I'm not. I kept speaking it, kept speaking it, kept talking and walking and acting as if and I was there. And here it is, the mindset started to shift. People call me all the time, Darren, what do you do when you don't feel like it? You don't feel like it. I do it anyway. Successful people don't, listen, successful people do things that unsuccessful people don't want to do. And successful people don't do it because they feel like it. They do it because it's a paradigm. It's in them. I did not feel like doing this call today. It's in me though. I need to help these people, Darren, get Get your ass together. Come on, let's do it. No, that's like you being a coach and your players show up to the game and you send them all text messages saying, hey, I ain't going to make it. I don't feel like it. You can never coach people. You can never lead people. 
when you get in the habit of you doing things that you don't feel like doing, that's where the real attraction is starting to happen. When you get in the habit of you doing things that you don't feel like doing, oh my gosh, that is when the energy, that's when the realness starts to happen for you. Because the consciousness and the subconscious are two different things. One is this, the consciousness is what you know. The subconscious is what you are. It's what you are. You gotta go from no. Some of you guys there, I know this information but you're not the information. You can know it, you, you, you probably heard it, but are you the information? Are you the information? You can talk about your vision, but does your vision talk before you talk? You could talk about leadership, but when you walk in a room, your, your, your body has an aura. And people, we judge because we're just, that's what human beings do. We judge. And here it is. When you, as soon as we see somebody walking in the room, we feel leadership. We feel, we feel something. You don't believe me? Let you go in the room and sit down and let two people or three people walk in. You can feel them gossiping about you. And they didn't even have to tell you. You felt the energy. They were talking about you. And they here they walk in. Hey, how's it going? And you felt something. Something didn't, something ain't mixing right. I feel the energy when you all call me. Hey, Darren, what's going on? How's your day going? I can feel the energy. They want to tell me something. They're just kind of going around the bush. It's what you are. What you have to do is this, all right? It's what you got to do. You have to align up your actions with, you, you have to align up your decisions based on what you want, okay? So here it is, all right? Based on your thought process, this is you. You've been thinking, 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 thinking. I'm going to tell you right now. Your results is a collection of thoughts. It's not just one thought. It's a collection of thoughts. That's why when you join, let's say, a business like the business that we're in and you join our team, and especially if you join a team that is so fast the way that we're moving, you get a bunch of new thoughts. And a lot of people, they come back saying, I feel overwhelmed. Of course you do because you're used to your old pattern of thinking. What you've done is you've tapped into a new environment of growth. Let's say you're at $30,000 a year and your goal is to do $30,000 a week. The mentality and the mindset is gonna to be totally different. The action steps will be totally different. The language will be totally different. The behavior patterns will be totally different. The consciousness will be totally different. Everything will be different. You're supposed to be overwhelmed. Stay in there. Stay in there. And here's your goal. That's what you, you we think about the goal, but we don't want to get overwhelmed to the goal. We don't want to do, we don't want to do what, Patterns that the goal is lining up for us to do. Darren, I really want to quit my job. Awesome. How much do you got to earn to quit your job? $2,000 a week. Okay. This is what I need you to do daily. I can't do that. I need you to invest maybe a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars into yourself. And you know, let's start setting ourselves up for six. I can't do that. That you have to shock yourself into changing when you, the way you change your paradigm, it ha, there's a shocker. You have to shock. You know, the, you know, the doctors, when they clear, you got to shock yourself alive. 
You know why? Go to the gym, work out by yourself. And we don't like pain. Pain is the lead. We do not like to be in pain. Some of us, most of us probably. Do not like, we don't, as soon as pain hits, we stop. As soon as pain hits, we stop. That's why it's very important that you have accountability when you're doing something like this. So that when you're going through pain, you got to keep pushing through that pain. Hey, listen, I need you to invest another another thousand. Yeah, we got to invest another thousand. I don't really have it, but and, and you do things that you're uncomfortable doing, but probably got to sell some stuff and you got to spend your rent money or probably spend your spend some type of money that you got to pay the bills with. That's you getting on the frequency. And what happens is this, you got to make a decision. But when you make a decision, you start looking at your results. Immediately. You make a decision to go, hit, go up to your goals and then immediately your paradigm kicks in and says, but you can't do that. I tell people all the time, get that big butt out the way. Some of you guys like those big butts, move the butts out the way, right? And, you, and here it is, I, I really want this. But the kids do it anyway. Some of you guys text me, Darren, what about the kid? Do it anyway. You'll find a way to, you'll, you, it, you almost find it every single time. Hyperspeed too. As soon as you make the decision, it's there. I'm telling you right now, when you make the decision and you start looking back, you start to see that fear. You know how we say fear and, and what is it? Fear and uh, faith. We both can't see it. So true. It's right there. We think it's a big deal, but what we, once we do it, we realize it's really not a big deal. It's just going through that terror barrier. There's a slide that I have with the terror barrier. It's just banging through that wall and saying, I'm going to do it. What if I fail? So what? Enjoy the movie. Enjoy it. Feel it. We're going to die someday. We don't know how long we have. Enjoy it. Death is not a negative thing to me. It's a positive thing to me. It's crazy. We all want to go to heaven, but none of us want to die. We all want success, but none of us want to do the work. We don't want to, we don't want to get scared. We don't want to get pinched. We don't want to get talked about. We don't want to get gossiped on. We don't want people to quit. We don't want, no, you need that. Let's say, Sarah, you, you have a goal to do 10 million a month, okay? And my goal right now is 20 million a month. Not for the money. I want a lot of you to do a million a month, a million a week, a mil you know, you know, six figures, whatever your goal is, just attach to mine. But I have to have a big enough goal for your goals to fit into my goals. And here it is. I just went to sleep with where I'm at right now and woke up tomorrow with 10 million a month, 20 million a month, 15 million a month. And I woke up and I'm like, I'm here, I'm here. And my team or people that look up to me that's struggling, they come to me and they say, how did you do it? I, don't, I, I took a nap. I took a nap and woke up and I'm here. I wouldn't be able to help you. I wouldn't be able to help you. I was, tell, I was telling one of my leaders uh, a few days ago, he, he's going through some stuff and I said, go, don't go through it, grow through it. Those are success stories. You need stress stories. You just want success stories, no stress stories. Stress stories make your success stories even better. You don't want to fail. <laughs> you don't want to get pinched. You should look up. You should look forward to those because then you can help the next person. I just wake up and I'm like, you all can do it. What? 
How can I motivate you saying you can do it when I didn't do it? I just went to sleep and woke up and 20 million is in the banking account every month. Can't help you any kind of way. No. The reason why some of you all relate with me because I sucked for a long time. And like if Darren can do it in Indiana, I can do it. He had all these billionaires calling him now. If he can do it, I can do it. But I couldn't help you if I just went from zero to success. Fall in love with the process, folks. Is it stressful? Yeah, but that's just weights for you to carry. That's just weights for you to lift. I listen, my biggest, listen, I got two, I got probably two fears. Here's one of them, getting a blessing that I'm not ready for. I never forget when my, my cousin, my cousin, my nephew, he was, I think he was like six or seven years old at the time. I don't know, I'll forget how old he was. Love Lamborghinis, love, love fast cars. Couldn't wait to take him on. The, I couldn't wait to just take him in. We, we, there's a picture on my Instagram with him and you see his reaction and he's so excited when he got in. I went from zero to six, 60 or 80 so quick. He got terrified, almost pissed, it, almost peed his pants. He said, I don't like this anymore. The vehicle is a great opportunity. It's a good materialistic thing to have. But it'll be bad if I gave it to my nephew at that age. Because he's a baby. It will destroy him. Steak is good food, isn't it? Right? You guys like your steaks and your burgers? Babies can't eat that. You're giving a good thing to someone that's not prepared for it yet. And God is looking at some of you like babies or teenagers or adults. Maybe some of you guys are ready for it. I look at myself as a baby. What I want right now, oh my gosh, do I believe? I, I know it. it's, uh, it's around the corner. I can feel it for sure. I'm, I'm not a baby. I'm probably a teenager start growing into it. But, but, but I can feel it. I know it's coming. I know I, we're attracting the right people. We got some leaders. We got some, some, some babies that are developing into leaders. Man, we got some eagles in this thing. I'm feeling it. But today, if I got it today, wouldn't be ready for it wouldn't know what to do with it. Do you know what you would do with what, if you're at where you wanna be right now, would you know what to do with it? If you did, some of you guys, yes, you would already have it. You would already have it. Listen, the universe doesn't go off of what you say. The universe goes off what you feel. It goes off feeling. That's why the book, one of my favorite books is Feeling is the Secret. Goes off your feeling. You cannot manipulate. The, un the universe knows what you're ready for. Darren, I want to lead a lot of people, but you get sad when one person quits. And you, it, it's like you, you have funerals every day for everybody that's quit your business and you, you want everybody to come to the funeral. You want to talk about it. Can we talk about, can we talk about little Johnny? What happened little Johnny? He quit. We're having a funeral for him tomorrow morning. Can you come? I went to the uh, airport and I was talking to uh I, I still can't think of his name. He said, Darren. I said, yeah. And I'm trying to go to Aruba because I missed my flight due to some circumstances. And he said, Darren. I said, yeah. And uh, I turned around and he said, man, you, you remember me? He was with his girlfriend. I said, I try to fake it till I, you, you, you ever met some, you ever, you ever had people like, hey, what's going on? You, and you try to like, you know, be on their frequency. Hey, hey, how's it? Yeah, I, I remember you. He said, no, you don't. You don't remember me, do you? 
I said, no, I ain't gonna lie to you. I said, what, what, what's your name? Tell me his name, I totally forget his name. He said, I was in your business. I said, when? He said, back in uh, uh, 2016, 15. I said, oh, did you quit? He said, yeah. I said, I don't remember quitters. People don't remember quitters. Why would, I, why would I remember who you are? No, I remember people like Jason that's on the line, I believe, right now. He struggled. And he called me on his birthday saying, can you help me get to six figures before my next birthday? 24 years old. I said, do exactly what I tell you to do. I remember people like Tier who's been following me now for seven, I think five, six years, lived in his grandmother's basement, didn't quit, went through tough times. I remember those individuals. I remember those people, the Jakes. Can't say Desi because she's only been with me for about a year. So I'm talking about people that's been with me for over, over four or five years. I don't remember them. You shouldn't either. Don't have Memorial Days for quitters. No, you keep moving forward. See, goals keep you moving forward. Goals keep you looking straight. Goals keep you want, goals keep your focus away from distractions. Folks, what you have to do is whatever you're asking for, some of you guys are asking for maybe financial abundance. Maybe you're asking for, I don't know what you're asking for, but you have to get on the frequency of the good that you desire. You have to walk, talk, be, become. You have to, you have to be committed, not just a little decision. It's a committed decision. The decision you make today is the decision you need to keep next month, next year. I mean, next month, the following month, the following month, you need to keep that decision. How do you stay committed to the decision? You got to see it every single day. If you don't, it will fade away. You got to see it every single day. You got to keep feeding it every single day day. It's not a decision. You just keep calling out. You got to figure out a way to keep hammering in that, that committed decision into your subconscious mind. You got to keep hammering it, keep hammering it, speak it, see it, feel it, hear it, smell it, whatever you got to do, keep hammering it until it does, until it becomes you where you don't even have to write it down as affirmations anymore. It's just you now. You don't even have to speak it. The reason why we say affirmation so much because we forgot about the affirmation. We stopped believing it. That's why we say you I, when I'm done when I when I become something I don't have to say the affirmation anymore. I don't have to say it anymore. There's some stuff you may confirm like I'm happy, healthy, wealthy, but I don't have to say some of my goals that I've been calling out. I don't have to say, I'm, I'm so happy and grateful I got a Lamborghini. I got a, It's already done. So happy and grateful I bought my mom and dad a house. It's already done. I became that already. Are you still saying you're wealthy because you haven't became it? Make it done. It's done. Keep speaking it now, but make sure it becomes done. Are you saying I'm a diamond? No, sh listen, you don't have to say I'm a diamond. You're, Desi don't say I'm a diamond. It's done. She's walking diamond. Does her own calls. She does her own stuff. She does. She, she's doing what diamonds do. She's thinking what diamonds think. She's not waiting on another diamond to do or build her diamond ship. People that speak diamond wait for diamonds. 
people that are diamonds, they don't wait for diamonds. They call the diamond. Hey, Darren, listen, I'm going diamond this month, man. This is what I'm going to do. Julius just texted me today. He said, diamond, diamond Julius is right here. This is what I'm going to do, Darren. I'm going diamond this month. Uh, I need you to do this. All right, let's do it. He kind of demanded it. This is what I need. I need you here in Alabama. I, no, no if fans, buts about it. You, you need to be here. I'm going diamond. I need you to. I need you to recognize me as diamond when I hit it. Hey, Darren. I'm going. Hey, here's Angie. Hey, Darren. I'm going. I'm going Emerald. I need you here in Aruba. I already got your passport because Kaylee sent me your passport. I'm already. I'm going to book your flight. Is that? I, I need you here at this date. I'm like, excuse me, you're going to just take over my time, right? No, listen, diamond is 20,000 a week. That, that's, that's a mentality. It's a machine that you become. It's a behavior pattern that you develop. Remember, making money is an action. Keeping money is a behavior. Growing money is a knowledge. Knowledgeable. Making money is the easiest thing you ever do. Keeping money is it's a little challenging because now you got to have some behavior patterns. Multiplication, which is growth, that's the knowledge. That's why we have things set up that the things that we're about to set up in February with the, the trainings and the NFTs, the training in the crypto, the trainings and where the world is already at and what it's growing into. Not none of these I almost said something that's being recorded. So, but not just we're we're moving you in the direction of where the world is going to. We're not doing the old dinosaur way of making money. We're not doing the old dinosaur way of how to's no we're going to show you what to do's not how to's but you got to stick with it because adversity doesn't just build character reveals character i never know what loyalty is until we go through adversity people say darren i'm in it to, i'm in it to win it they just tell me everything here it is they're my i'm in it with your buddy man whatever you do man hey if this is titanic I'm going to sink with the ship with you. Well, I hope this ship sinks so that I can see what your reaction is going to be like. I never, I never go off people's mouth. I go off their body. Hey, I want to see God throw us an adversity to see if they're in it to stick with it. That's what God does. As soon as you make the decision, the universe tests you. Hey, I, I'm, this is going to be the year I'm going to be wealthy. Hey, Darren, I promise you, man, this is going to be my year. We say every year is this. Every year is our year, right? This is my year. Then here it is. God's like, all right, we'll see. Boop. Throw them in adversity. Boop. It's like the hunted house. They go in and they turn around all scared. Uh -huh. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Hey, Darren, this is the year that I'm going to be healthy, okay? Boop. Let's put them in the party. Let's put the cake right in front of them. And let's have the person ask them, do they want some cookies 10 times at the party? I'm telling you, this is, if, you're, if, you're into, if, if, you're, if you are intentional on your growth, you will, you will notice things like this. Every time I make a big quantum leap in income, my income drops a little bit for some reason. I don't know what it is. It goes shoop, and then it goes boom. Goes boom, boom. It's like a trampoline. Every time I make a decision to do something, anything. Hey, man, I'm not going to drink. February, we, we can't, we all can't drink. The ones that's doing the rank run with us. No drinking, no bad habits, no nothing. Pure focus. I want your mind. If you're going to fail on your goals, let you fail on your goals. Do not let your distractions add on to your failure. That's why I tell all my leaders, 
no drinking, no nothing. We are focused. Nothing. Smoking, I don't, whatever your bad habit is. A quantum leap is a quantum leap. You got to get focused. As soon as I say that, all my, all my friends text me. February 1st. Hey, Darren, we're going down. We're going to the bar, man. You want, you want to go to the bar? It's on us. You don't have to pay for anything. Boop. And the mind's like, oh. Well, I'll start February 2nd. <laughs> right? Every time. Who all with me? Am I the only one that understands that? Just put yes in the chat if you guys know what I'm talking about. Just put yes in the chat if you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Here, we're family. We could talk. I told myself, I said, you guys heard me say it too. I said, I'm not drinking. January, February, until we get to our big meeting in March. See, leaders, if you're a leader, you, you, you mess up and you fess up. So I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be focused in January. I'm going to start January off. Guess what? Boop. Mentor calls me. Hey, listen, uh, um, you know, I need you to come to Miami. I want to spend some time. Awesome. Good. I'm going to Miami. I got to be, be there with my mentor. We were there for New Year's. I said, after New Year's, I'm not doing it. He said, hey, Darren, you got to stay an extra two days here because you can't just leave after New Year's. You got to stay. We got to talk. All right. I'll, yeah, I'll do that. We're in Miami. As soon as he poured me a drink, I had the, I had the, had the opportunity to say no. He's like, you want a drink? Here, here you go. And I'm like this. He said, January, Darren, here it is. My paradigm is like this. And I beat myself up. I said, you lied to the group. You lied to him. Darren, no, nobody wants to follow a liar. Can't lie to him. See, some of you guys, Darren, what, you're going to beat yourself up over that? Have some fun. It's New Year's. No, if you don't beat yourself up by the, with the small things, you'll never beat yourself up with the big things. Darren, why'd you say that? You, you, you messed up but paradigm, but you're with your mentor. It don't matter. That means I let the environment control my mind. And Darren, you were weak at that time. You got to get stronger. We all go through the same stuff. But it's about how you, how you learn from it. Because if you don't learn from it, you'll die by it. And you'll become a slave to it. You got to have that goal. And you got to know exactly what you want. I'm going to skip over here. And I'm going to go straight to, matter of fact, I had so many slides, can't even get to it. This is why I want to know. If you're brand new, just put, just put new in the chat really quick and who brought you, all right? Just put new in the chat and who brought you, okay? I know, I know with this, you all are excited about this 5K club that we're doing. And I'm really excited about it because the 5K club is really going to turn into an inner circle of people that you will have a lot of my time and a lot of the leaders time. And I'm just so fired up about it. Um, we already got some stuff planned out. And um, when I come to your city or whatever it is, you know, you'll get some, some time alone. And I just just been thinking about it all day long it started off as just a little club that i was going to do for one month and i said no let's make it like a mastermind club let's really make this a real club shirts made and all that good stuff
I've realized with new people that get, get started with a business, they don't know where to start. And it's the start that stops most people. They stare at the steps and not step up the stairs. And I say, you know what? I'm going to create something that we're the newest person that gets started in one day. And they do the they 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 gotta they gotta obviously they obviously have to level up and hit the hit the 5k club requirements. But anybody can see it and everybody anybody can do it just in a matter of just their first day joining. And I'm really excited about getting another, they got some stuff planned. I can't share. David, I think I said too much too. Don't send this to uh, our Facebook group because I did say some numbers and I don't want to get in trouble, trouble by it. You can, I'll allow you to, you know, do some studying with your groups with it, but I got to watch my words sometimes. But I'm looking forward to making another quantum leap with you all. And the reason why you all are getting the results you're getting is because we're working as a team to do it. It's hard to do something where the energy is up, down, up, down, sideways, but it's easier when all the energy is high and it's put together, collective. All teams are groups, but not all groups are teams. And February, I know we've done three big runs so far. Um, and if you're brand new, you're probably like, what run are you talking about? Well, we got this thing called masterclass and I need to know who's doing the masterclass as well. Um, <laughs> you're okay, Hazel. Oh, uh, there's a lot of Darren Gibson's. I'm the person with on the jet with Linda. You'll see, you'll see me on the jet. Um, there's a lot of Darren Gibson's. I thought I was only Darren Gibson. No, not Darren Gibson. Just put Darren Gibson about this. And um, I want to know who's doing the master class and master class. I won't get into that because um, I just love a master class. It's it's what we just did today, but more and more more in depth. And um, it's helped, it's probably 90% of our business, why your business is growing. So people ask, how are you moving so fast? Because we put mindset in with business and all I simply did was put personal development and education into a platform that has a compensation plan attached to it. So basically the more you grow, the more you earn. And when you stop, choose to stop growing and you choose to, to act as if that weight is too strong for your paradigm, you can get out of it whenever you please. But I'm going to tell you right now, this year, and some of you guys are probably already feeling it, the weight's getting a little bit heavier, isn't it? Why? Because we've already broken a lot of records. We've already got the fastest growing group. We've already been called the rocket rocket team. We've already, uh, you know, busted out some diamonds. We've already busted out some emeralds, some rubies. We've already just, just been killing it. And we've only been doing this for seven months. And we haven't even been in for a year yet. Well, I'm excited for you all for this to be your first year. If you're looking for something, just, just put looking in the chat. If you're brand new, Brand new, not a part of our team. I want, I want to know who I'm talking to really quick. Give me two more minutes and I got to go. Just put looking really quick so that the, the leaders that brought you on the line, that's working with me. There's some DMs. I got a lot of DMs, got a lot of DMs. The leaders that's working, that Shannon I'm working with, the leaders that's, that's brought you on the line, and you don't have to DM me, folks. If you There's so many DMs. I got you guys all. Well, this is what I want to do. Today's Tuesday. I want to do a call with the newest people that gotten started today. It got to be today. Can't be tomorrow. Got to be today. 
And people, I want you to reach out to me and let me know what you guys learned today. Today was so good. I just shared numbers and I'm and I'm and I get very weary about me, you know, po posting, you know, some stuff that I say and because uh, I definitely could, you know, if you know me, I'm very transparent. But um, reach out to me. Let me know what you guys learned. Let me got, let me know what clicked for you on Instagram or Facebook. Doesn't matter. And the people that are doing the 5K, we actually have a 5K um, email. Jake, are you still on the line? Did you set that up yet or no? Or will that, that will be set up this week? Not yet. Okay. Well, we're just looking to do, we set 300, but 1,000, and I know that we're going to jam pack it out. Now, some of you guys are like, the, the information is overwhelming. Like I said, hey, this is a new thought. You've attracted this call. You don't have to ask a lot of questions. Just don't deny it. Don't neglect it. Just, and you only have to accept it. Just say it is what it is. And watch what sinks in your subconscious mind is what I did. There's still people putting looking and they're putting in my DMs too. There's a lot of you guys looking. Well, listen, I want you to do this. This is what I want you to do. I want you to give the person that brought you on the line a call and say, hey, get me started. Very cheap to get in. You figure out which one you want to do. I don't care which one you do. I'm looking forward to welcoming you to our Facebook group. Um, everybody that's uh, emailed, I'll check the email today to see who's doing the mastermind class. And I'm looking forward to really crushing your goals in the month of February. This is what I want you all to do is set a big goal in February, specifically income goal and a people goal. How many people you want to help? And I want to talk to you about it. I want to, I want to really hammer it. Matter of fact, that's going to be the discussion for tomorrow with the new people. So tomorrow I'll put out a, I'll put out a link to all the groups and I'll put it inside the Facebook group. But, uh, but you need to get started today. Don't let your paradigm kick in. Just get in. Watch what happens. And write down today's date. And you're literally going to need a telescope to see where your life started from. I thank you guys for having me today. Love you guys. I'm praying for you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you at work. See ya.